Hi guys! Welcome to our classroom and may we all have a wonderful Friday. So our lesson for today is about the axis or axis of symmetry. So axis if it is singular and the plural or if it is more than two it is axis. Okay so we have here different figures. Isosceles triangle and equilateral triangle. We also have a square a hexagon or a polygon which has six equal sides and a pentagon which has five equal sides so how do we draw the axis or axis of symmetry so when you say symmetry it is how you can divide the figure into equal parts or how do we draw so that it will have a mirror image okay so on the isosceles triangle wherein we have two equal sides which are equal we can only draw one line or one axis of symmetry so from this point to the base okay so we draw a dash or a uh, broken line to divide the isosceles triangle into two equal parts left side and the right side and then we have here an equilateral triangle meaning all the sides are equal so we can divide it into three equal parts so from uh, this part to there one and then this to there and then from the top to the base so it has three axes of symmetry for the square it has four equal sides so we can divide it into four one two three four so again we have here one line of symmetry this one has three lines of symmetry and then square has four lines of symmetry okay how about for the hexagon since it has four i mean six equal sides it will also have six lines of symmetry or six axes of symmetry so uh, we can draw the line from this so uh, we must draw first a point so that our line must pass through that point so one and from here two three four five and six so it has six lines of symmetry okay then for the pentagon it has five equal sides so it must have five lines of symmetry so from the, this sign to the apex so it must also pass through the center okay. one two three it must pass here and then four and then the five is from here okay so there you have it it has five lines of symmetry and then for the hexagon is six lines of symmetry so i hope that you learned something from our video today and i hope that you continue to practice at home while you are asked to stay at home for the covid19 pandemic so please stay safe and god bless